She's coming. She's rising. She's coming. I'm Julius. I'm Julius too. So we're Julius and Julius and today we're fishing a secret river in the Alps. We're gonna do some side fishing for some nice brown trout. There are really big fish in this river. We're gonna use the dry fly and the mouse. And that will be epic because if a fish is rising and if it's a big fish, we're gonna have some super nice action. And the fish are really shy, it's not easy to get them and it's early in the season. Yeah. But we'll do the best. Sounds, so. sounds like great fishing. Yeah. to this beautiful pool here there's a big rock you can see it right there and I got this little black dry fly with some foam that worked quite well the last days at another river so. no luck on the first pool yeah no luck on the first pool now the river will be quite shallow for the next few hundred meters, but there's a lot of small pockets in there. A few casts, look if there's a fish willing to eat or fly, and then we go on, like on the upper part, yeah. we're gonna have some bigger pools. We saw no fish rising, but it's always worth a try, starting with a dry fly, because it's so much fun to catch a fish on the dry fly. So let's go. Sneak up on this pool. You see those big rocks over there. There's a quite deep, deep spot behind them. The fish, they actually feast on anything in this river. And if there's a big brown trout and there's a lizard just swimming on the water, you will take it. I don't care, it's a little mouse or a, let's say a small bird that's dropped in the water and there's some big ass trout in here and they, they will definitely eat it because they have to. You see the water is crystal clear. There's nearly no food in here. And that's the reason I'll just fish some big top water lures a lot of time you know and you'll see later on we'll try the mouse more so i hope you guys can hear me properly of course i turned the mic off while showing you the snow but you can tell it's springtime here in the alps we still have some snow that is slowly melting away look at this beautiful river slowly getting warmer Right in front of me, there's some overhanging branches and all of you trout guys just know that's the perfect place for a trout hiding there and the good thing is there's a lot of fish eating birds around this river and they don't like these super shallow areas. That's the reason there's sometimes some big trout hiding in here. Just work our way down this pool. It's a little bit like salmon fishing. We'll have to do quite some river crossing. Just be careful, don't want to get wet in this cold, cold water. <laughs> we'll have a look if the fish are rising to the dry fly. If they don't want to, I'll use this nice mouse streamer here to have some action. And if that doesn't work, I might switch to a little nymph. But let's hope we don't need it. The first fly I used today is a small little black dry fly with some foam. We actually got no luck on the dry fly. Let's try something else. There has to be a fish in here. Look at this beautiful, beautiful pool. Now I switched to the mouse streamer, but I will fish him from another angle because I really want to cast on the other bank. And I want this fly just to cross the river like a, like an, I don't know, a mouse or a lizard that dropped in the water or wants to cross the river. We had a slow start to the day. We've been fishing for one hour. We actually, we didn't hook up so far. We couldn't spot a single fish, but we're confident and yeah, we're making our way upstream now, checking out some other pools. It's looking quite promising and we know there's some fish. It's just a matter of time when those fish gonna start to eat. And when they eat, they will eat anything. So let's go. Come on fishy, go for the mouse. The current is super fast. No fish wants to eat my fly. 
I think the, the main reason the fishes are not that active is that there's nearly no hatching insects at the moment. We have quite an interesting structure here. Maybe there's some fish hiding between those old wooden logs there. So, slow fishing so far, but we're making our way up the stream. Try some different pools. Yeah, absolutely. But the, the dry fly and the streamer should be a good choice, I think. Yeah. We'll, we'll we stick stay. to it. Yeah, we stick to it. We're just gonna try the same lures. They should work. And the only thing is that the, the, the fish need to get active. But um, we will see them when they start to hunt and they start to chase some flies and some... And we'll just walk up the river until we spot a fish. Perfect, yeah, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. So, let's go. Let's go. We're pretty excited right now. Yeah. We spotted some really nice fish in the pool you can see down there. The reason we are so excited is that we not only spotted one fish, we spotted three good fish. Yeah. And we're gonna use this big deer hair mouse imitation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're now right at the riverbank. I have the streamer on, we have the drone up in the air. We need to fool the fish and that's the hardest part. Because it's early season, you're not so used to it, but we'll try the best for you. Look at the scenery, this pool is so crazy. You have this water flowing from the left side to the right side and you have some decent fish in this pool. Oh, the wind is blowing so hard. Ooh, I might have a follower there. Uyuyuyuyuy. Close call. Now we're getting to the hot zone there. The wind is so annoying. Oh, oh I, I nearly had a take. I nearly had a take. Wow. There was a fish rising up where I didn't expect it. This pool was not as easy as we thought. Our hardships won't end now. Yeah, we thought that um, it's quite easy to catch a fish here, but at the moment where it doesn't expect it to take, a huge trout just came up, tried to eat the fly. It might be a little bit too cold for the, for the mouse imitation. Yeah. So apparently we're not on top of our game right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having a quick break. Maybe yeah. we can spot some fish. We drink some non-alcoholic beer. Yes, we, we want to stay focused. To charge up and then we try <laughs> some other techniques yeah. for sure. So, for the next fish, hopefully. Yeah. We've recalibrated our thoughts. We try to be more focused now because I have to tell you, when I tried to catch the first fish, I was not too concentrated. I was just nervous, shaking, I was not 100% focused, that's not how you fish it and yeah. sometimes you just need to sit down, cool down a little bit, concentrate more because when you're fishing on top water you have to be 100% focused, that's yeah, that's it, true, that's, that's, that's one of true. the main parts. Yeah, now I'm just uh, having a look in my fly boxes because I really don't know if I should use a nymph or a dry fly. I was spotting this pool three days ago and the hatch was from one o'clock to maybe three o'clock. It was right in this short time period. And when it's this time and there's some hatching insects, we're definitely gonna use some of these uh, small black uh, Mitch imitations or maybe a cling camera if they're a little bit spooky. Actually, I'm quite happy because I had a freshly uh, hatched caddis right on my leg and I saw some other betis flies that were hatching as well. Maybe the next the next few hours should be good with the dry fly. Yeah, yeah. I really hope for that. Yeah, we hope the weather will be merciful with us. Yeah. Hopefully it won't start raining soon and we'll keep on going to the next pool. Stay tuned. Julius in front. 
has to carry a lot of camera equipment. We have some interesting pools here, but we'll fish them later on. The water, you can drink it right out of the, the, the spring. High diversity of different plants growing here. And the river needs this cold water in summer, the warmer water in winter. It's perfect spawning ground. Let's change to this Europe 12. It's like a perfect dry fly for any conditions. I saw this caddis style fly just hatching at my legs, so I think that's a good choice. We saw a nice trout. Just slowly went back. Everything was fine. I wanted to tie on my dry fly. Yeah, the bicycle dude just went straight beside the fish, spooked it instantly. And just hope the fish is still there. Just gonna work our way up. Oh, Julia, she comes, she comes. She's rising up. Oh, Yevla. Okay. Guys, the, the, the trout is. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Oh, she denied. Wow. She's coming. She's rising. She's coming. Yo. Yo. Ho, ho. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yo. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, she's so strong. She's so strong. Oh, he's not small. This fish is so strong. Like, it's not really big, but it's really strong. It just took three times until this fish ate the fly finally. It was so hard. Look at that. He's barely hooked, but perfectly in the sight. Yes! High five, Julius. Don't lose the camera. Yeah! <laughs> we'll just keep this fish in the water. Look at that. This fish is so fat. He is so fat. I don't know what he ate, but he is so fat. Look at this belly. You can see this fish has some, some scars right at the tail where another big trout just grabbed it. You can see it here. For that reason we know there's even a bigger trout in this pool and we'll be back at this pool, 100% sure. I will just lift him up for a second, just have a look at the belly. You saw three casts with the dry fly third cast we just took it absolutely happy right now because we fished all day long not a single bite and finally this beautiful fish and as you can see on the fin, fins it's a perfect wild fish you can see those white marks you will never see them on a, on a hatchery fish let's just release this beautiful fish it's just way too beautiful to keep a trout like that if we would keep a fish we will just keep a rainbow trout As you guys can probably tell, we're really happy now. We caught a really nice brown trout. Yeah, the spots were just impressive. Like, perfect fins, perfect spots. Yeah. The belly was just full of food. Maybe this fish yeah, it even so ate... so fat. Maybe it, 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 it had eaten mouse or, or something like that. It, like, I, I just felt, when I was touching it with my fingers, I just felt something big inside its stomachs. We just used a Europe 12 that I actually fished for the first time up in Sweden. And it's tied on a, on a way that I also learned in Sweden to just put some foam under the wings. It floats a little bit higher in the water. Yeah, it's a good fly if you are not 100% sure which imitation you want to choose. But it works perfectly anywhere on the world where some hungry trout in the rivers. A big fish like that is just pure glory. Yeah, on amazing. A, on, a, on, a, on a cold river like that, it has to grow a long time. And for that specific reason, we won't take the brown trout out of this river. We just yeah. take rainbow trout because they are escaped. Back there you can see our next spot. Yes. Really good looking pool. Now it's my turn. Yeah, 100%. He, he already caught his nice brown trout and I'm going to use the dry fly setup on the five weight rod. Yeah, it's a five weight rod, rod exactly. And the, the mouse rod is a seven weight rod. Just to let you know, seven weight, five weight. Seven weight is quite heavy for a small creek like that. but there are some really huge trout in here. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Look at that, perfect cast, perfect cast. Right into the pool. 
Oh shit! Ooh, we have some we, big yo, there's there's a thunderstorm coming, and uh, we might should go to the car now. Not so good to fish in a thunderstorm because uh, you might get uh, just uh, thunderstruck. <laughs> As you probably can tell, it's getting quite dark right now. A big thunderstorm is approaching us, and yeah, we'll pack up. We'll head back to the car. If you've liked this video, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a comment down below and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye. It's raining quite strong, but we made it back to the car. We haven't been slain by the thunder, so that's nice. Actually quite good. Quite good results for the day.